Welcome to our first lesson on expenditure and revenue budgets. Here we'll learn about the importance of budgeting in business and explore various types of budgets, their purpose, and key components. Let's dive in. A budget is essentially a financial plan that outlines how resources, primarily financial, will be allocated and used over a given period. Having a budget is essential for businesses for a number of reasons. Firstly, it helps in defining goals and mapping out strategies to achieve them. And additionally, by monitoring performance against the budget, businesses can ensure they are on track and make necessary adjustments if they deviate. There are two main terms related to budgets that you should understand. Budgeting, which is the process of preparing the budget, and budgetary control, which is the practice of comparing actual performance with the budget to ensure adherence and make adjustments if needed. Let's now explore four different examples of budgets. The revenue or sales budget is centered on forecasting a company's income. It details sales units, the projected number of products or services to be sold, price per unit, the selling price of each product or service, and total sales. This is calculated by multiplying sales units by the price per unit. The production budget is about determining the volume of products that need to be produced to meet sales projections. Key components include Budgeted sales The projected number of sales from the revenue budget Ending inventory The projected stock level at the end of the period Total required units This sums up the budgeted sales and ending inventory Opening inventory Stock levels at the start of the period And required production this is calculated by subtracting opening inventory from the total required units. The purchases or materials budget outlines the raw materials needed to meet production requirements. Important elements to note include Required production The number of units you will have to produce during the period Materials per unit The quantity of raw materials required to produce each unit Production materials required the total number of raw materials required to fulfill the production requirements. Desired ending inventory, the quantity of raw materials you want to still have in stock at the end of the period. Total materials required, this is calculated by adding the production materials required to the desired ending inventory. Less beginning inventory, the quantity of raw materials we have in stock at the beginning of the period. Quantity of material to be purchased. This is calculated by adding the total materials required to the beginning inventory. Cost per quantity, the cost of purchasing each individual unit of raw material. And cost of material to be purchased. This is calculated by multiplying the material to be purchased to the cost per quantity. The labor budget determines the labor hours required to meet production goals. Key components include Required production The number of units to be produced Hours per unit, the labor hours needed for each unit. Total labor hours, calculated by multiplying the required production by the hours per unit. Hourly labor cost, the wage rate per hour. And total cost of labor, calculated by multiplying total labor hours by the hourly labor cost. In conclusion, a budget is a plan for how you will gain and use the resources available to your enterprise. The act of preparing a budget is called budgeting. Budgetary control is where we monitor our performance against the budget. A revenue or sales budget shows how much money will be coming into the business. A production budget is used to identify the number of goods that need to be produced. The purchases or materials budget determines how much raw materials are needed. And a labor budget aims to work out how many labor hours are needed.